Yuck. ABC 57's Rachel Glazer is live on West Market Street in Pearson. And Rachel, this is disgusting. Yeah, Krista, it's really gross. You definitely have to be careful of where you step out here. Waste from this pump station overflows. So there's toilet paper, all sorts of stuff spread across this area, all the way down to the playground. And this is not the only spot in town where this is happening. Several people who live by pump stations say raw sewage is seeping near their houses. A mixture of water and waste gurgles up from the sewer system. Well, it's raw sewage and it's gross. This is the lowest spot in town. So everything inside the sewer system collects here at this pump station before it's sent out south of town to the sanitation plant. But all backed up, the overflow has pushed this drain cover right up. It bubbles up and toilet paper and feces run up onto the ground. Human waste, toilet paper, and everything else that gets flushed down the toilet gets dumped here. When the water gets high, Lucy Smith says it all runs down to the church's playground. Well, if it overflows, it goes down and runs underneath the, the playground equipment. Now closed off with caution tape, the swing set can not be used. It's a health hazard with because it stays on top of the ground when the water goes away. Bill Smith says the water and the waste is gone, but the evidence used toilet paper is still here. Proof that there is a serious, sickening problem. They don't wash the grass or nothing and that toilet paper and stuff lays right on top of the ground. And it stays there all year round. The sun comes out and bakes it and it makes an awful smell. The Smiths say this flood of waste should be illegal. It's a dirty shame and a solution should be number one on the town's priority list. The town says that they, they know it needs to be fixed and I, they are, they're not sure how. Now, it's no surprise a number of people have complained to the town, but the street superintendent says that they just don't have the money. They need to refurbish these pipes and it would cost each family in town around $10,000. Reporting live in Pearson, Rachel Glazer, ABC 57 News.